Hey guys, this is Coffee Chug, and I'm here with another Tinkercad tutorial. In this one, what I want to show you is how to print properly a piece that sometimes just doesn't print the way we want. What I mean by that is, here is a design that um, some of our students have put together for a group that we have called BMS Theory. Now, it's an amazing design, but if you look at it, there are a lot of pieces that are technically not connected. Um, if you look up here in these signs, you can see that there's gaps in all these little pieces. And when we go to print it off, even though it looks cool, it's a pain to assemble. And we can't really stand it up. We can't use it anywhere because nothing's connected. Um, and we've tried super gluing and all that other stuff. It just doesn't turn out the way we want. And so I want to show you today how to get a base underneath it so it prints and it looks sharp and it keeps it all together. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure before we do anything that all your pieces are grouped together. And so you either can select all or control A or whatever that you use to select everything on your plate. I already have everything in here grouped, but you would choose this group option and group it all together and make it one piece so that when we go to move, it moves all by itself. There's the first step. Now. The second piece here is we want to add a little base to it. Um, so we're going to do this. We're just going to drag over a box for now. And actually what we're also going to do is bring over the ruler. What I use the ruler for is if this is the size of my design, I want to actually let's get rid of this here. It's picking up the, uh, the square right now. So we're going to do this. There we go. And I can see now that we're about 75 millimeters wide, about 111 tall. So I know that I want to make something similar to that with the box of the plate. So I'm going to drag this box over here. And I know I'm just going to go, I'm going to go 76 to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go 113. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Um, and so we'll drag the ruler over for this guy. And I was going to make this 76. We're going to make this 113. Now, I don't need the base this big. It's way too thick. I just need it almost kind of paper thin. And so I can see here that right now it's 20 millimeters tall. So I'm just going to drop that down to like three. And you can adjust this to your liking. Actually, I might even make that two so it's nice and thin. Then I'm going to grab this guy here. And I can see that it's zero millimeters off the ground. It's flat on the board, which is what we should normally have. And I'm just going to lay this. If I know this is two, let's make this two as well. And now I can just drag this over this way. Or if you remember from previous tutorial, I can highlight both. And I'm going to go here to the align. And I'm going to align the center. And I'm going to align here. And it's perfectly aligned. And now I've got this perfect base plate for my objects. And I just want to make sure to see that everything is actually on the base plate, I might have to make this just a little bit bigger. So let's just make sure here. We're right there on the edge, so it actually might be good. It's almost perfect. Almost too perfect. And there you have it. This is the thing right here. I'm just going to check to make sure that there's no gaps. This all looks good here, all the way around. If you have pieces that are kind of floating. Sometimes kids would click, you know, little pieces that, you know, aren't flat on the ground, which you could do. You know, earlier we talked about this being um, this piece here. It's two. You could sink that a little bit. It would just drop it in a little bit so it would actually be more in the base. And so I might actually just keep it just like that just to make it secure. And then I will select all of it, I will group it together, and there we have it, a base plate to hold all the pieces together. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or other techniques that you use, and until next time, stay awesome.